Hi, and welcome to another video in the 30 day magic challenge. Obviously not 30 consecutive days, but we're on day number 19. And today is all about Peter Kane's Gypsy Curse. And we're going to take it right to the table right now. Gypsy Curse, my great, 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 great grandfather used to be a charlatan, used to be a ne'er-do-well, used to be a mountebank going from place to place, city to city, village to village, town to town, plying his trade with some cards on the street. Where, just like the three card Monty, um, but this is using seven cards, he would play a game where he would never lose and we'd walk away with everybody's money. You know the sort of people that would do that. Nerdwells, charlatans, horrible people, vagabonds, thieves, rogues, yeah. So he would show the cards and then he would share with the audience that he's getting. Uh, look, I've got seven, sorry, seven cards all together. I've got six black cards and I've got one red card. The one red card in the middle is the money card. Keep your eye on the money card. You win something. Um, if you lose the money card, you obviously lose. And as he was getting an audience, he would then put the cards like so three cards on the table and four cards in the hand. And he would say, where is, where is the red card? Is it down here on the table or is it up here in my hand? Whilst all this was going on, a, a wizened, beautiful elderly lady came up to the front of the crowd and went, oh, Shani. Well, why would she have a voice like that? But it makes good, <laughs> Good story. Well, Shani, I've got this here. And she bet this pure silver lighter. Now, look, I know that this lighter wasn't around at the time, but just go with me, right? It's the only thing I've got in my pocket. I'm not going to introduce a, a lovely little coin saying it's real. Jeez, it's just an object. <laughs> so, so, so you bet the lighter on where the king was. Was it on the table or was it in the hand? And she said, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's in the hand. To which my great, 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 well, you get the idea, would show the cards in the hand and say, no, the card isn't there. The king isn't there. Uh, the, king, <laughs> the king isn't there. And so he pocketed the thing. Now, what he didn't realize is that the lady, the, the woman that was betting on where the king was, was in fact a gypsy or she had special powers. So at the end of the day, when he came to close up the shop, he closed up the shop, he, well, closed up his stall, closed up his little thing and went about his, the rest of the day. And then obviously the second, next day he was there, he was going to do exactly the same thing. But what he didn't realize, trumpets blaring, da, 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 was that the lady, that the woman who had bet and lost and been basically screwed out of her money, had actually put a curse on the game. So that when he opened the table, he found that he had unexpectedly the king or the red card. And he turned the next card over and that too was a red card. And then there was another red card. And then there was another red card. And no matter how he tried out throughout the day, he found that the cards that were all there were all red. And so he would never win at that game again. And the moral of the story is, um, well, quite simple really, and that is never turn your back on a gypsy. And there you have Peter Kane's Gypsy Curse. So there you have it, uh, Gypsy Curse by Peter Kane. If you like this video, please make sure to check out one of the other ones that we've got up there. And always please remember to subscribe and like because your help is very much appreciated. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.